Welcome to my hair transplant video part 5. In this video you will see a slideshow of photographs of me immediately before, during, and after my hair transplant surgery. That's me, Hans Moore. One hour before my hair transplant surgery, I had only two hours of sleep. Before the surgery, I was given a sedative to help relax and to eliminate any anxiety. And boy, could I feel the sedative kicking in. Here you can see my receding hairline, my previous hair plugs, and the white scar going down the side of my temple just in front of the temple hairline. All these issues will be corrected by blending the new transplanted follicular hair grafts from the donor skin to the recipient sites on my scalp. Both sides of my scalp and cosmetic scars will be blended and restored with new transplanted follicular hair grafts. Here you can see bald spots in my scalp from a previous brow lift, which left noticeable scars. The bald spots will have new transplanted follicular hair grafts to fill them in and naturally blend the rest of my hair. With a black pencil, Dr. Jerry Cooley pre-marks the guideline where the new hair grafts will be transplanted and blended naturally to restore my receding hairline and cover the temple scars from a previous upper facelift. Here I am in the operating room. This is where the hair transplant surgery procedure takes place. This is Dr. Cooley pre-measuring my donor hair site on the back of my scalp. Here I am on the operating table under a twilight sedation sleep. My scalp is numbed using local anesthetics. You can see the pre-pencil marking guidelines where the new hairline will be restored. Here you see where Dr. Jerry E. Cooley has removed the hair plugs on both sides of my receding hairline. All the removed hair plugs will be reused and replaced by transplanting them back into my scalp. The hair plugs will then blend naturally along with my new 1000 transplanted follicular hair units. This is the pre-measured and trimmed donor site on the back of my scalp. The donor site is removed in the form of a long strip of tissue using a scalpel, just deep enough to remove the skin and hair follicles, but not deep enough to damage the underlying arteries and the nerves. The donor area is then closed with sutures. Then the donor tissue consisting of the hair follicles are trimmed under a microscope by a highly trained staff who prepare individual hair graft units. While the staff is dissecting the hair grafts, Dr. Cooley will be making small incisions into the area of the scalp or the recipient area where the grafts will be planted. Typically, a small hypodermic needle or blade is used to make these incisions, and because they are so small, there is no scar. The grafts are then meticulously placed in the correct angle and direction, mimicking your original hair, and each one is carefully spaced to allow enough blood to nourish every hair during the brief healing process. Dr. Cooley does not glue or stitch the grafts in place because the blood in the incisions provide a natural glue that holds the transplanted hair follicles in place. Here I am about one hour post-operative of my 1000 follicular hair graft transplantation procedure performed by Dr. Cooley. The entire process of me arriving for surgery, pre-sedating me, taking all the photographs, pre-marking me, pre-measuring, removing the donor skin, stitching the donor area, removing the old hair plugs, dissecting the hair units into 1,000 units, transplanting the hair grafts, and taking post-op surgery pictures, the entire procedure took 11 hours. It was a full day of surgery and a full day's work, but it was worth it. Thanks for watching part five of my hair transplant surgery. If you are interested in a hair consultation with Dr. Jerry E. Cooley, call the number below 
and visit his website to learn more. And thanks for watching. And don't forget to watch part 6.